Welcome back, Redeemers. My name is Keith. I'm Nick. And I'm Curtis. And we're Redemption Reacts. So today we have F Hero featuring Millie and Chan Bin from Stray Kids, Mirror Mirror. Um, definitely been banging on the table for this one for a while. A lot of people in the comments have been asking for it. You finally get it. Funny, I swear to God, I knew I was gonna get that <laughs> the mirror, mirror on the wall thing. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's inevitable. Rick Ross. Oh, that's the thing I thought when I first. <laughs> Snap on that fucking verse. Jesus Christ. So I, I definitely get the whole mirror, mirror on the wall and Alice in Wonderland themes and everything that's going on. Um, I guess from a product, from a production standpoint, like the, the, the song, the song is good. Um, I guess Shorty and Rick Ross didn't resonate with me very well, though. Mm. Um, like their cadences were, were fine and like everything was cool. I just feel like when when Bro Bro stepped on the scene when Chan Ben came in. Um like the room was his. Um almost and it's crazy because like I said, as far as uh, production goes and as far as the musicality, the cadences and everything are cool. Um 
I, th- I don't know how to uh, maybe word this. <laughs> Let's just say place. Go no, on. not like it's not like it's a negative, <laughs> and, and not like anything negative is about to be brought up. Um, it just felt like people were playing dress up, and he wasn't. Mm. If that makes sense. Um, and I get it because you know it was, it's in the theme of like what's going on, mm-hmm. but he just was on some cool shit. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't playing a character. I don't remember him. I was one. This wasn't a Mad Hatter. Uh, <laughs> He came for blood. <laughs> yeah, and and like I said, there's, there's no takeaway from them because I honestly think the the flows and everything was was there and shit like that. Um, but I just felt like bro kind of he elevated the track and it was a little bit different energy. But it was a solid joint. It was a good entry. Um, real quick, so for some context, Millie, uh, she kind of touched on it in her second verse. Mm-hmm. She speaks Korean, but she's not very fluid. Um, I think I believe she's Thai, so she speaks Thai, and she also speaks English pretty well. So her first verse was in Korean. It was that's why I was kind of like, eh, as far as like lyrically. Okay. Um, second verse, she got into a bag that she was a little bit more comfortable in, according to her, and that's why it flowed a little better, and she was able to pick up the cadence and you know hit you with a little bit more different flow. Um, lyrically, I liked Hero's first verse. Um, F Hero's first verse and Chan Bin just went off. Um, but yeah. No, I got you. Um, I wasn't too crazy on the first verse, especially like it took me a little bit to get into the field of song, especially mm-hmm. with the Alice in Wonderland themes. I was just kind of like waiting to see where they would go uh, with it and everything. Um, but when the when the rap line came in with uh, I believe his you said his name's Hero or F whatever? Hero yeah. F Hero I thought his verse I thought he really snapped in his verse and I thought it was a, a good aggressive like kind of change of tone that I wasn't necessarily expecting and from there on my engagement with the song was just there the entire time through all the verses and everything mm-hmm. but I do agree um, Chan had such a presence to him like and it didn't feel like he was necessarily playing a character or anything like it was something that felt really authentic, but also like a talking your shit kind of kind of mm-hmm, track. And mm-hmm. it's just, I love that energy and rap and everything. And, you know, they only made it better with the, the additional flows and cadences. And they kept picking up the speed as um, they all each kind of got another verse in there, like sneakily as the, as the beat was progressing. So it just kept the momentum going for me the whole time. Um, now, I, I really love this. Um, as far as like the, the video and everything, I do like the idea of like kind of the silhouetted... Um, or not silhouetted, I should say, but the face covered, you know, extras and everything like that. Um, and the mirror on the wall thing, I, funny enough, the only when they really show the mirror and she asks, um, it's shot upside down. So it was like upside down. So I love the, the distortion kind of mm-hmm. that they created with that. But um, the rest of the, I mean, I wasn't as invested in the rest of the video, I will say, because it didn't really feel like they were really taking it anywhere mm-hmm. as far as everything. And once I realized that, that's when the, the rap um, started coming in. And then that's like where my engagement like really picked up with everything. Um, all in all, though, this was this was definitely a download for me. This is a track like I can't wait to hear more of. <laughs> yeah, Chan definitely went off, bro. Nah, he he really did. He snapped. And it didn't. I know we kind of often say this a little bit about um, some of the things in K-pop with rap, but. It didn't feel like a thing where you got four lines or eight lines or split a verse with anyone. Like, it really felt like you had a full ability just to let loose and shine. Mm -hmm. Um, And they just, they all just ate on this. Yeah, I think, like I said, it's it's, uh, my gripes are nitpicking. Yeah. Um, No. But it's it's definitely, um, like, like, uh, who's the one named Hero? Mm -hmm. Hero is his name? Yeah, uh, F Hero. Um... So yeah, pretty, I, I guess I guess they definitely gripes, but it's just like like I said, they seem like caricatures of themselves to, off of just the first listen. Mm-hmm. Like even some of like his cadences later on in the other genres, like Brah! like you know what I mean. And then her, um, like I, I'm used to the K-pop voice, mm-hmm. but it's it's her, Jackie Wu, a couple girls. Sometimes you have to get used to like the yeah, and when that. when when it hit, it hits. It's just when bro stepped in, it just was a whole... Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it, just, it almost just reminds else. me of like when Nicki plays Roman. That's what it kind of reminded me of a little bit as far as like the the, the, the voice. But um, you know what counteracts that? And, and, and it's like I said, it's a nitpick. So let me use Roman's Revenge for an example. Mm-hmm. She was playing a caricature of herself, which, she's, which she, she does brilliantly at mm-hmm. that. 
M was also playing a caricature almost of himself again. Mm -hmm. So in the context of the song, everything made sense, if that makes sense to y'all. So in this concept, when you have two people who seem like they're playing caricatures of something, and then one person who isn't, it was it, it took me off a little bit. But yeah. like I said, that's a nitpick because overall the song is a good song. Um play yeah, that was that's my main thoughts on that. But yeah, did you have anything else to rebuttal from that or just say anything? Oh no 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm just like You yeah. like Roman's Revenge? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. I, I, I said I, I, I like the sets. The set pieces were cool. Mm -hmm. The uh, quote unquote throne room with the uh, the architecture. Well, not architecture. The um, the sculptures on the wall, like very grayscale and clayish, mm -hmm. um, and simplistic. Even like Chen Vince like scene. It's really just him, and like a, looks like a castle hall with a spotlight on him. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. just simplistic but effective. That's why the shit threw. Not, I'm not gonna keep saying threw me off, but it's just if you feel like he in a, not a different music video than them. Mm -hmm. um, like they shot this shit on a different day. Yeah, which I'm he pretty has sure no shots with them at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, but it's just like even him being by himself and the coolness and everything. It just seemed like it was two different kind of like things and how I felt. He said, "What is winning without winning, or what is winning without competition? Like just mm -hmm. that that underground rap kind of." Aggression to it, and then it said surviving um, a survivor show or whatever. Like, you know mm -hmm. how they go through the so just like I agree. Like, the mm -hmm. energy was just <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, hashtag redeemers. Um, let us know if y'all feeling this, Sean. You know, uh, keep spill more likes, more comments, <laughs> more content. It really is just the kind that, of that's, just, that's really cut and dry what it is. More likes, more comments, more content. And we're not trying to gas you up, but it's like, like a cool tag. <laughs> if 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 there's a group that you like that you don't feel we do enough of, you gotta like the uh, like the video. You gotta like it up so that way we know what you guys want to see. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Love you guys to death. I'll let y'all peace.